Matt Maher the third, son of legendary middle linebacker Matt Maher the second, who, after an unplanned pregnancy with Tyla, abandoned his son. He was raised by a single mother, but she taught him two things. She taught him how to run fast and catch balls. Maher III started his career as a Boise State Bronco, putting up a super impressive freshman season. 84 catches, 1,400 yards, 16 touchdowns, and ending as an 83 overall. And probably most impressively, 97 speed and 99 acceleration after the freshman year means sophomore season is going to be even crazier. And that leads us to the massive decision, the transfer portal. Now, Boise State would take us back. I loved Boise State. I loved their schedule. But I just think we're too good of a wide receiver to play in the Mountain West Conference. I know, I called it the Midwest. It was embarrassing. There are some crazy good programs that are interested. To be honest, I think Ole Miss would be so sick. But how much are we going to see the field? I am third in that depth chart. That's kind of scary to think about. I think the SMU Mustangs would be really cool too. But once again, I'm third in that depth chart. I got to be at least second string wide receiver if I'm going to commit to a program. At USC, I would be second string. Obviously, Zachariah Branch is the true number one. But I'm still in there. This could be really cool. Ooh. <laughs> this could be a massive mistake. I don't know what it's going to look like as the second string wide receiver. We were the true wide receiver one at Boise State. One thing I can tell you is USC throws the ball. I'm becoming a Trojan and we're headed to the Big Ten. Matt Maher the third going to USC. Oh, <laughs> That's actually so scary. I'm in a position battle for not wide receiver one, but wide receiver two. Your road to glory experience can be so different. Just based on the playbook, how coach uses you when he decides to sub you out. So I have to at least be wide receiver two. So right now I'm technically wide receiver three. I've got to beat 2000 points on wide receiver battle. Let's see how these USC DBs are. Number one, it's getting torched right now. Honestly, I think I need to just play this really, really safe and just make sure I catch the, oh, actually, this is actually so easy, especially because I have 97 speed, 99 excel right now. That changes everything. Also, if we get gold on all these, we get extra coach trust, and I'm gonna need coach trust to change plays. Should get gold right here. If I take him inside, push him out, beautiful. Easy gold right there. Let's do it again. Ooh, I'm fast. Gotta beat 2000 again. Shouldn't be too difficult. Oh my God, I'm so fast. Good stiff arm. We've locked up wide receiver two. Let's get one more gold on backfield survival. This is like the hardest drill for me, but I've never done it when I have this much speed. I wonder if I can really get gold on this right now. Okay, but USC's D tackle is, okay, actually, actually steroid test that man. Dude, what are you made out of? I think the D tackle is faster than the safety. Oh my God, these guys are fast. Get them stuck, get them nice and stuck. Oh, I'm such a casual. The battle was won anyway. We got 1500 coach trust, we're wide receiver two. It's gonna be weird not being the true starter, but we'll see how much it matters. Oh my God. Our first game is against Ole Miss. This was the only other program that I really considered. USC schedule, we got Ole Miss as the season opener, then Purdue. So many ranked teams. Georgia Southern, Illinois, Nebraska. We got Michigan State, Michigan, Notre Dame, and we close the season, Iowa, Oregon, UCLA. This is a crazy schedule. We're gonna have to play really good football, but this could be so much fun. I've also got some skill points to spend. Let's do that before our first game as a Trojan. Keep our health high, and I'm actually gonna make sure I study. I was academically ineligible once, and that was the worst thing ever. I do gotta mess with my gear, though. I'm sorry. I, I suck at gear. I have no drip every time, but the shut has gotta go. Let's rock a Rydell Speed Flex. I don't mind this face mask. It gives good visibility. I gotta see the ball. We need some shoes that scream speed. Just kidding, dude, I'm like 25% black. I can rock the Jordan Low Fives. Now for upgrades. One thing I've been ignoring is these physical abilities. Double dip's only one skill point. So we'll start here with bronze tier double dip. Takeoff is apparently busted. I haven't really used it. I'm gonna get bronze tier takeoff. Actually, no, I'm gonna take that all the way to silver tier takeoff. We've got one skill point remaining. So I'm just gonna hang on to that. I definitely gotta get my route running up. I definitely gotta get my hands up. Power and IQ are okay, but elusiveness would help too. So a lot of things to upgrade, but for now, We've got brand new abilities and our season opener against Ole Miss. 
We'll have silver tier takeoff, bronze tier double dip, and a brand new team, the USC Trojans. We're an 85 overall, they're an 86. They're ranked 13th in the nation, so this should be a really good game. USC only has two jersey options? That's a crime. Gentlemen, don't forget, college football starts this week, and I will definitely be getting in on the action with my sponsor, Underdog Fantasy. There's a free pick in the app right now for Dylan Gabriel. He needs to throw for one yard or more. I trust him. Here's my picks for this week. Of course, I'm including that Dylan Gabriel free pick. It doesn't get any better than that. Now, keep in mind, Underdog Fantasy is the easiest way to play fantasy sports. You got to select two separate players from two separate teams at the minimum. And you can always add more. Underdog Fantasy is available in 30 plus states that includes California, Florida, and Texas. Now make sure to use the promo code MMG. That'll get you bonus cash up to $1,000. Download Underdog. There's a QR code on screen or a link in the top description. Code MMG. And don't forget to use that Dylan Gabriel free pick. It's the best way to start out. And of course, enjoy the rest of the video. The season opener for the USC Trojans. Matt Maher the third coming off one of the best wide receiver seasons we've seen in a minute, but that was on the Boise State Broncos. He's taken his talents to a significantly better program, but he's moved down the depth chart. Let's see how he reacts with a diminished role, but with a better program in this season opener. All right, boys, let's see what our first rep is. Good news on our opening drive, I am already in. The play change plays are great. There's mesh spot wheel and mesh. Pretty similar, but at least they're really good options. I'm solo on the right side. We have a brand new ability in takeoff. I am the primary route on this. And look at that, I'm, I am open already! And a nice catch, and I just realized I forgot to look at our depth chart. I don't know who our quarterback is. I probably should. Also, gentlemen, I found something out. You know how I kept getting mad about Malachi Nelson throwing bullets? If you hold LB and hit A, you'll automatically call for a lofted ball. This whole time I was hitting A and they were just automatically bullying it. I guess we could try it out right now. We don't have to because we get hit in a seam. Nice work. Point being, I have some new tricks up my sleeve for this game and hopefully we can keep using them. Dude, the auto change play being the primary is so big. Oh, if I'm on the wide side of the field, that's gonna be a money play. The USC is looking like a really good option right now. This is a draw, so I just gotta throw a block. We're looking at third and 12. I'm gonna be on an island over here on the far right a lot. Also, you guys gave me the advice to zoom my camera out so we can see linebackers. Definitely a good call, as we're gonna get a nice pass into the tight end right here. We're in the red zone, I'm still in. I got press coverage, I think I can get behind this. Oh my God, hit me, let's go! I was gonna say that was because of takeoff, but takeoff only activates if you are not press covered. So that was just a nasty release. We got a touchdown, three catches and 50 yards in our debut. This is a great start. Now, if I choose to go spot wheel, I get the post, but this may be a perfect time to try out that loft. LB and A, oh my God, I fucking tore it. Oh my God, no, no, yes, yes, yes. Heisman difficulty, we are hooking on this right now. Two touchdowns, four catches, 122 yards. Dude, it certainly helps to be on this side of the field. They're, they're giving me press coverage. I'm one of the fastest receivers in the nation. That was good coverage that time. Second and two, I'm MM Blocker here. Let's see what we got. Good block. Beauty. Second and six, it's a rain game, baby. You know, I've never been to a USC game in my life. Do they really do that? Do they section off that entire part of the field just for the ban? That's kind of crazy. Those are some like primetime seats, no? It's a full stadium. The boys are here. I'm just kind of shocked by that. Let's see if I can take him in, then take him out. Dude, I love this QB. I love this O-line. This is against a good program. This is an even matchup. We're getting great blocks, a lot of time to throw. First and 10. Can we get the end zone another time? Oh, oh, oh. We, we did get in the end zone another time, and that's the Zachariah. On Boise State, when I would switch plays, the options weren't the best. But here, I, I always am the primary receiver with a good route. Let's see if we can run this as intended. No, but we do get the check down. I'll throw a few blocks. USC is going to turn this over, but we got a big lead right now. First and 10, they got me on a curl, and he's press covered. Let's see if we can beat him deep, make him fall back. Oh, wait. Oh, wait! <laughs> I didn't even call for that! 
Dude, they were like cheating the curl or something. Dude, this might be my best game of my career. And it's in my debut as a Trojan. Six catches for 212? This is a Randy Moss stat line. You are not press covering me again. You guys are out of your minds. Put that fucker up there. Oh my God, what a loft. What a ball. Oh my shit. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, I started, I started celebrating. What am I fucking doing? Oh, it's going to be a good season, boys. It's going to be a good season. Oh, feed, 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 spin. Come on, I am cooking you frogs. Dude, what's the USC record? I might hit it today. All right, let's just run this little basic route here. Skirt, inside. Ooh, ooh. Can I get him? DK Metcalf. DK Metcalf. Ah! I'm still 50% white, you know. That was a perfect example, though, that last touchdown of the LBA. Being able to put that up there is so nice. Dude, and he keeps finding me. I'm not even calling for the ball. He keeps finding me. This is the best. I love USC. All right, motion over so I can lead block on inside zone. First and 10. I'm the primary on this, too. Go for the foot fire. Oh, that did not work. But, dude. Oh, dropped. We're running sale here. Dude, it kind of helps that Ole Miss is stupid as shit. And they just run. Ooh, good job. Ball. Oh, they run a lot of press coverage. I don't know how many more scenarios this season will be this favorable. So we really got to take advantage of our reps right now against Ole Miss. First and 10, I've got the deep post again. I'm double covered. <gasps> that's my bad QB. I tried to run that in and take it out and that's not the intended route. Oh, what about this? What about this though? Just kidding. Good throw. Although I'm getting all excited here. This is a super close game, 32 to 38. Let's make sure we get open. Ooh, beautiful. Almost spun to the outside. All right, we got an RPO bubble here. I'm a blocker. Let's see what we can do. Oh, just the, oh, pick. Oh, shit. That might be another pick six. Wait a minute, we're going to be losing. How'd you throw a pick six on our... AJ Brown? AJ Brown on Ole Miss? That's not AJ Brown. Does Ole Miss in real life have another AJ Brown? Seriously? Why am I not in? It's 46 to 46 and I just got put back in. What just happened? This is gonna come down to the wire. All right, we got a block here. Whoa, what did I just do? I made a mistake. I don't know what I did, but I made a mistake. Second and 10, clock's winding down. I gotta call for the ball and be a playmaker. We have two timeouts. Let's go no huddle. No, coach, what are you doing? Dude, coach, coach, I don't know if you've looked at the stat sheet, but I have 12 receptions, 360 yards and three touchdowns. You're going to pull me in the last 40 seconds? Okay, I'm back in. We must be going to like a two tight end or set or something where I'm not in, but we don't have a lot of time. We got to make a play. We got to make a play fast. That's fine. That was a good six yards. We just need field goal range. Third and one, I'm press covered. This could be an opportunity to get it all right here. Let's go. Decent release. He throws to the left side. I think we're out of bounds. Oh no, clock's ticking. Clock's ticking. First and 10. I'm not pressed, so takeoff will activate here. Let's take him inside, take him out, and find me. Find me. No, that's not on you. That's on me. That's on me. Oh, that was a crucial mistake. We needed those yards. Second and 10. Let's zoom this out so we can see the linebackers. Please. Where'd he go? Incomplete. Third and ten. No. No, 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 no. Oh, this is a crucial down to be coming out on. We might be going overtime. Wait, what? We scored! Oh my god, we scored! <laughs> Dude, I had a monster game. I'm a little concerned that I came out for some really crucial plays. But look at that fucking stat line. Are you kidding me? Insanely effective with the catches that we did get. That's what's so exciting about it. We were just burning them. Ole Miss... Stuck to the press coverage all game long. It almost paid off. Two pick sixes. Still came out with a dub. The Trojans take down 13th ranked Ole Miss for a season opener W. We might have got national player too. So our QB is Miller Moss. 86 overall with really good stats. So that's amazing. I had 13 for 364. Trevion O'Neal had 8 for 49. Xavier Jordan 7 for 115. And wait a minute. Where's... 
Zach, where's Branch? Did Branch not get a single catch? 28 average yards per reception is already a gigantic step up from anything we did freshman season. That's a hell of a season opener. Big 10 Offensive Player of the Week. Matt Maher the third. did we get national? That's the big question. Did we get national? Big time National Offensive Player of the Week in our opener. It's a beautiful thing. We must have gotten stupid. Yeah, we got fours. No, we got three skill points from that game alone. That's huge. I am so confused what happened to our wide receivers, but I now have a wide receiver one position battle against Hudson. So where is Branch? I got to check the roster after this. Actually, no, let's check it right now. What's going on here? Did he transfer? Here's USC's roster. Our best player is a 91 overall D tackle, Bear Alexander. Miller Moss is second best. Lake McCree is third best. Congratulations, Lake, by the way. I know you're watching the videos. So Hudson is our senior wide receiver who's an 86 overall. We have Aiden Childs. Aiden Childs transferred out of Michigan State to USC. Why? Dude, you're sitting behind. Oh my God, if I stayed at USC, Aiden Childs would be my QB next season. That is so funny. No way. He actually transferred. That's crazy. Well, Coach Coach must trust me a lot because Kyron Hudson's a lot better than me. And I kind of don't want to win this. I loved where I was on the field, but Zachariah Branch is somewhere else. I don't know where he went, but he's not here anymore. All right. Well, same shit, different day, boys. Let's go get a gold. I have never done this drill before. Rack attack? I've never seen this. It's like I'm basically getting a jet sweep and then I got to find the end zone after that. But they're pretty slow and they're not good tacklers. Yeah, it's probably on freshman difficulty for this drill. Oh shit, a bubble. It's basically like screen practice. Oh, can we top it off with a touchdown? Yes, we can. That's too easy. I guess I'm wide receiver one now. When you're hitting the transfer portal, you cannot trust a single thing the game says because that starting guy could get transferred, he could get hurt, it worked out for us. After Maher secured the wide receiver one spot, USC went on a tear, taking down program after program, but finding their only loss of the season thus far to number six, Nebraska. And that leads us to our next biggest game of the season, where we're hosting the University of Michigan. I gotta say, I am shocked that we are six and one. We've beat multiple ranked teams, but we lost to Nebraska, who's sixth in the nation. I cannot believe at six and one, we're not ranked. I mean, they got two and two Oklahoma State at 15. Regardless, I think I know why. It's because of our conference standings. There are six teams that are undefeated in the Big Ten right now, and one of them is Michigan, who we're about to take on right now. We beat them. I think we jumped to the top of the conference with a five and one record. Now, before we play them, we are seven games deep. We've earned 15 skill points. We gotta spend these. Let's throw a point in route running to start. My route runnings are just not good. I'd love to get my release up as well. Takes us to 87 deep and 90 release. I do drop passes every once in a while. So we do want an upgrade on hands as well. We're now rocking at 87 overall. And one final point in hands will take us to 99 spectacular catch, 90 catching, and 83 catch in traffic. I assume that this final point into hands is gonna give us a gigantic leap as a wide receiver. Since our catch in traffic's only 83, this last point right here has gotta take us to at least 90 and probably 97 catching. So that'll be a huge next upgrade. Our overall just went up big time and we still have silver tier takeoff and bronze tier double dip, which I'll have to work on more later for now, we got to see if we can beat the Wolverines. They do have a big overall advantage on us. We know the Wolverines are really good. And this will be my first game lined up as wide receiver one. So we'll be on the opposite side of the field most of the time. Big overall boosts. We're starting this game out with a curl combo. Please don't tell me that's Will Johnson. Is that Will? No, he'd be a star, right? Very first play. Uh -oh. Just run mesh here and I'm gonna zoom the camera out so I can see these linebackers. Second and 15. Oh, that's a blitz. I could be open. I am incredible route turning up field and I could have waited for my blocker, but I think I would have got caught. Interesting. My play changes have changed. I think the play changes are determined on where you are in the depth chart because these are different play calls now. This is a... <gasps> What a play! And since I secure, oh my God, I just sold Miller Moss. I didn't think he could get there. Jaden May, oh my goodness, nice play. Uh-oh, this is a huge game. If we wanna to go to the playoffs, we gotta win this. And I just, I just sold my team. All right, now first and 10. Slant into the middle. I don't like it, but I can be a blocker now. That's the other thing too. When you're wide receiver one, that usually means you have the best coverage guy on you. I did not hate being wide receiver two, but I am open for a, 
catching traffic. Oh, I need that final hands upgrade. That's catching traffic right there. Second and goal. We got RPO. I don't know. That's a handoff. Third and goal from the four. Coach has got other ideas. I'm coming out. I sold my opportunity. I'm struggling right now against Michigan. We came away with a field goal, and now we've got a little play action play here. First and 10. Oh, you got to give me a shot. Oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness, no you don't, no you don't have to give me a shot. Great touchdown. See if we can get a good release here. Oh, this is true single coverage, no safety whatsoever. He throws it quick and I'm throwing good blocks. Second and 13. Oh, right here. No, oh, I love that, that looks so good. Oh my God, wait. Yo, coach, can I be wide receiver two again? He's cooking over there. Dude, imagine going into your coach's office and begging him to push you down in the depth chart. Imagine. That's that's how I feel right now. First and 10, take him inside, cut out. That was actually a really good route, but dude, he's cooking on the right side. Play action, slot, slide. Oh, find me. That's why you zoomed the camera out. I'm selling the fuck out of this game and he's gonna house it, stop it. Dude, that Ole Miss game has my ego inflated and I'm playing like shit. I gotta get it together and I gotta get it together fast. Let's keep this camera zoomed out so I can actually see the linebackers and not do that again. Damn, I'm fast. Takeoff is really nice. Let's just go inside zone here, reset these chains. We gotta win this football game. So let's be smart about it. Good. Oh my God. 57 as a pick six and he also just embarrassed me in front of all the baddies. That's crazy. You know there's baddies at USC. First and 10. Oh my God, you're cooked. <gasps> if he holds that ball another second, I can complete that route. But hey, I caught it. I caught it in traffic. First and 10. True slant, I'm open. Damn, now we're catching in traffic. Gotta find that end zone though. Second and one. Oh, give me one. Give me one. What a ball. That was beautiful. LB and A, he'll actually loft it if you do it. That's been a game changer. All right, we're finally on the board. It certainly isn't the old Miss game, but this is Michigan. We expected really good defense, and we're getting it. First and 10 here. Oh, find me. That was another honestly really good ball, just better defense. Second and 10. Pull me outside. No. Oh, I have to rack that shit. That, honest to God, that was a touchdown. Third and four. Can I do the same thing? I bet you I can. Oh my God. Okay, I didn't actually secure catch that. The game made me on that one. It made me secure catch that. Third and six, big conversion. Just find me. Yes, what a ball, good rack. That was perfect. It is so hard to guard me on that route. Up by three points right now. I've got a deep dig over the middle and it's wide open. What a move! Oh, maybe I go around him, I don't know. But that was a beautiful ball and a beautiful route. Now 38 to 28. I'm gonna go on this camera angle here because I think I could just release to the outside. Oh, Kyron Hudson, nice catch. Dude, I think Kyron Hudson intentionally sold those drills so that he could get, he could get the sweet wide receiver two spot on USC. <laughs> Let's see if we can just fry our dude here. Quick little foot fire. I did not call for that ball. I did not call for that ball. That is a really, really bad pass. And now the lead is down to three. That was questionable. Granted, I could have ran a smarter route, so there's some user error too. Oh my God, did I just get pulled out the rest of the game? We beat Michigan by two. Dude, okay. I wonder if when I run a route and then we get picked off, I wonder if coach is looking at that and like is kind of pissed off and then I'm getting subbed out. Regardless, Kyron Hudson wins player of the game and honestly, he deserved it. He was cooking them. I worked my heart out to tackle him there though. I can't believe we beat him. We beat him by two. Dude, these games are just electric scoring games. Miller Moss had 500 yards and five touchdowns. I finished with 10 for 150 and a touchdown. Still a really good game, but Kyron Hudson, you, you dog. A win is a win. It wasn't our most spectacular performance, but we still had 10 catches, a touchdown, and 150 yards. I'm not gonna complain.
And finally, after beating Michigan, we're ranked. No, we're not even ranked. Oh no, we are, we're 25. It doesn't say it up there in the top left, but on the right side here, you can see we're number 25. They really don't want to rank USC. I mean, we are seven and one. You would think we're like one through five. No, they don't want to rank us at all, but we are now third in the Big Ten. That does mean our next biggest game is for sure going to be against Oregon. And after a close loss to Notre Dame, but a big win against Iowa, we find ourselves in the true test of the season. Number 18 USC taking on the number one ranked undefeated Oregon Ducks. Now I'm not going to lie. I think my senior season, I do want to be on Oregon. This is such a sick team and I haven't been on Oregon in any road to glories yet. We've got four final skill points to spend and I was thinking about saving up for hands, but we could take a route running upgrade right now or we could get the ability layout. I think I'm going to take layout and I'm going to upgrade double dip to silver tier. So headed into this Oregon game in our sophomore season, we're an 88 overall all with silver double dip, silver takeoff, and bronze tier layout. Yeah, the Ducks are an 89 overall, and this is also our first away game. If we lose here, I don't think we can go to the playoffs. That'd be our third loss. If we win here, we're almost guaranteed to go to the playoffs, actually, because we'd be first in the Big Ten. But if we lose here, I think we'll just get a nice bowl game. This is a big matchup, gentlemen. We gotta do everything we can to come out with a dub right here. Apparently, I put on long sleeves for away games. I kind of look like a goofball here. Oh. Not my best route. This is also the first time the stadium pulse has really been kicking us like this. Second and 10, that's a beautiful route. That route is OP, juke move. Yeah, I gotta work on my elusiveness. My open field jukes aren't great. Third and seven, this is a really big play right here. We're press covered. Oh, that's a great release. Can you find me? Oh my God, I'm so fast, even against Oregon. That's a huge catch. Coach is thinking it over though. It looks like I got pulled. We'll take three points there. Oregon seven, we're back on offense. I'm, I'm, oh, oh, fumble, fumble. Okay, we retain the football, but it's second and 24. Second and 24, a lot of yards to get back, but that's pretty soft coverage against one of the fastest wide receivers in the nation. Give me a shot. He must got hit. He got hit when he threw. Third and 24, one more shot at it. Oh, I'm low key open. Oh, good catch. Oh, I'm so open. I don't know what happened there, but we take those. All right, first and 10. Good release. I got a shot here. I still can't come down with these jump balls, not until I get my hands maxed out. Also, I'm, I, it's kind of interesting. As a deep threat wide receiver, you have no jump ball abilities. You only get those if you're physical. So honestly, winning those single coverage jump balls is going to be tough, even after some upgrades, but... Oh my God, what a play. Wait, that play's nasty. It's like the craziest pick play. Yo, what was that? Oh, I clicked it so fast. I wasn't even looking, but those slants coming across are just basically blockers. That's a huge play right there. Nice work, USC. Four catches for 134. We're having one of our best games here against Oregon. Now looking at first and 10, he's shaded inside. Let's take him out. Let's go straight up the field. Okay, that's good. There's a flag though. Probably a hold. Oh no, defensive holding. Second and seven. Oh my God, what a release. But same out of 19. No, that's Kyron. Hudson, end zone. Dude, we have a nasty, nasty wide receiver room now. Still down by four after half. This game is winnable. Oh, <laughs> we're just making up play calls now. It's kind of working now. Second and six, let's run this dig as God intended. 32, just go inside zone. Come on. Hey, that's a first. Nice. First and goal from the three. Wait a minute. I'm going to motion myself down to get nice and tight here. I think just an out route. Out route's there. Oh, he found something else. Touchdown, USC. We're going to take the lead. Oregon marches down. They definitely just scored one of their own. Here we go. This could be a big opportunity. Second and five. Oh, just put that puppy up there. What a ball, Miller Moss. There's been so many lead changes today, but that was perfect. Putting up a nuclear stat line up by three with the ball here. Is it do? Oh, Miller. Miller. I had them fry. Dude, Miller Moss is so good. 367 4, no interceptions today. First and 10. I'm going to give him the foot fire. Hey. 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 Oh, <laughs> good defense. Good defense.
Third and 10. We're in field goal range. We need a big pickup. I don't know if I'm open. And I just got, I think I just got an OPI. Oh no. It doesn't matter though. Unless the, they're calling it DPI. <laughs> I ran straight into him. Oh, uh, I don't think that ball was thrown to me. But it is a bailout. That is so funny. Dude, that might be the difference of us winning this game. Yeah, we just put up another touchdown. Oregon did too. It's 38 to 35. Second and seven. I've got a wheel route. Oh my God, can you do it? I wanted to test them. Third and 14. It's a big play right here. I have him. Oh my God, he put it way up. Way up. Way up. Way up! Oh! I came down with that. I came down with that, but I had a foot out of bounds. Oh, that's brutal. Oh my God, we're putting up a monster. Oh, we scored. Oregon does not score. We're gonna win this game. I think they've still got their timeouts. First and 10, we're going inside zone. We're getting a better blocking position here. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe I just brought the DB up. We pick up a few good runs, we'll win this game. Oh, I'm trying to throw blocks. I'm sorry, Trevion. There's only so much I can do there. We're going for the win right here, third and 14. We convert this, it's game over. Oh my God. <gasps> Miller, a rare miss from Miller Moss. That was a first down, if not a touchdown. We're gonna punt this ball. Oregon scores instantly. They still have two timeouts. Oh my God, this game's not over. First and 10. Good ball. No, 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 not a good ball. We're not milking any clock by doing that either. We're gonna go with a counter here. Second and 10. I think we just got TFL'd. Coach, you gotta pass this, Coach. No way we dropped this game. Third and 13. Right here. Good! First down and more! That's the ball game right there! The game ceiling catch that is massive. We're gonna beat Oregon by three points. And just like that, USC takes down the number one Ducks. I think we have a national championship shot here. 13 catches, 310 yards, and two touchdowns. Matt Maher, the third. Dude, Miller Moss is so good. This is probably the best quarterback I've ever played with in a row to war in. Miller Moss just consistently throws really good balls. We consistently have good time in the pocket. I really like USC. I mean, it helps that I had 310 yards, two touchdowns. I certainly don't mind that either. Not to mention, I had a game day challenge for like 60 yards or something, so I obviously nailed it. That's a coach trust increase. And after that win, we are finally ranked where I think we should be. We are seventh in the nation. We are second in the Big Ten, Penn State undefeated in first. We're finally over top of Oregon and Nebraska. Really good that Nebraska lost another Big Ten game because they would be in front of us right now. That means if we take down UCLA, we're headed to the Big Ten Championship. Winning the Big Ten Championship guarantees a ticket in the National Championship. Oh boy. The 2025 Heisman goes to Texas Tech's quarterback, Baron Morton. Wait a minute, what? Wait, what? Did we lose to UCLA, but still get a playoff bid? We had to have. Oh my God, we did. We lost to UCLA, but they still... <gasps> Oh my God, that's crazy. I was kind of hoping we would have been good enough to get a Heisman vote, but obviously we didn't. There was one wide receiver in there and guess what? He's an Oregon duck. It's making me think I low-key want to be on Oregon, but hey, we've got a college football playoff game. It's against Georgia, who's an absolute monster. So this will definitely be a tough game. Let's keep our wear and tear high. Our leadership is great. So I'm actually gonna put some points in Influencer, which I don't normally do. This is the most followers I've ever had. I got 80K right now. And we have six skill points to spend. So with the regular season in the books, here's our stats. Look at how many wide receivers on USC popped off. Three wide receivers over a thousand. We had 78 receptions for 1,351 yards and 11 touchdowns. Keep in mind, this is basically my exact stat line from Boise State and we have potentially three more games. Actually, no, we could have four more games. But here's just a comparison at Boise State. We've almost beat the yards. Our average has obviously gone up, but not by too much. Average per game has gone up, missing some touchdowns for sure. And our run after catch isn't exactly where I want it to be. But regardless, we have some massive games coming up. We can pump these numbers up, no doubt. Normally, gentlemen, I'd play the full playoff run right now, but this is already a massive episode. I'm gonna play the college football playoffs in next episode. 
That means you guys are getting a bonus episode, but I want to take my time with it. I don't want to rush through and we're already coming up on three hours here. So it's been a hell of an episode headed into our first college football playoff appearance. We're an 88 overall with some awesome stats, a big upgrade to make before we take on Georgia and hopefully we can win that game. All right, gentlemen, I love you. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.